Jeff, if you want to let me know when it's recording. Recording. All right, thank you. And so welcome to the Cunningham Street Roadway and Drainage Improvements uh, Community Meeting. It's February 9th, and it's at 6.05 right now. Uh, I'm Justin Naylor. I've been the project manager for the city of Fort Worth, also on the line. We have Michael Crenshaw, uh, who's been helping, uh, helping me with these projects. And then we also have our project development engineer, uh, Justin Oswald of Friesen Nichols, and our project engineer who will be taking this project uh, moving forward, uh, Jim Diot on the line. And so this project is being brought to you through the Transportation Public Works Department. Uh, through the Stormwater Management Division is the sponsor of the project. Uh, I, I work in the Capital Delivery Division, which is responsible for delivering capital projects. Uh, specifically, this comes out of the Hazardous Roadway Overtopping Mitigation Program, or the HROM program. And this is one of our, our highest priorities uh, with our stormwater funding because it addresses uh, high priority uh, life safety issues when flooding might overtop the roadway. Uh, currently, this project is in what, we're, what we call project development, which seeks to define effective, affordable, and acceptable solutions. Uh, and so within that, we, we, it's, it's making sure that the projects that we're proposing are feasible. We don't want to turn the project loose and only to find out later on uh, after we've expended a lot of effort to find out that it just can't be built and it can't be addressed. Uh, so it's also making sure that we're coordinating with any city plans, uh, coordinating with any existing utilities. Uh, we as a city, uh, we, we, while we requ require permits of, of builders and, and, and businesses, we are required to get permits for some of our projects. Uh, usually that's going to result in a permit with potential with the Army Corps of Engineers or coordinating with FEMA. And we just want to make sure that we have a really good handle on other site constraints. So currently this project is kind of nearing the end of project development. Um, and, and I'll talk a little bit more about that towards the end of the presentation on our plan moving forward. So the, re the reason that this project is being uh, looked at for, for possible improvements is because Cunningham Street at this tributary, uh, which is stream SC7, we, we know that it has a documented history of uh, flooding events. It even has two high water rescues as well as three other recorded events, which are gonna be instances when maybe we get a call from a resident or possibly from the fire department and we need to set barricades out. So we do have some documented history of flooding in this area. E even just back in November, uh, keep in mind that the dates on these pictures are in British uh, or, or kind of European with the date first. Uh, even back in November with about an inch and a quarter of rain or so, uh, this roadway was over top, not significantly, uh, but that was just an inch and a quarter over about two days. Uh, so anything that's much more intense is gonna result in much higher flooding and dislocation. And so that, that's where this project now that's why we're looking at this project. It is ranked very highly within our, our program. Uh, just to give another, another view of the area, the project limits are roughly from Crowley to just shy of Blakely. Um, and and there, there on the screen is a star representing the existing crossing. Uh, the, the shading on this represents the FEMA floodplain, uh, which is a regulatory uh, device that, that kind of helps helps us get a handle on how wide and potentially how deep the flooding is uh, during, a, very, during a, a design event. Uh, so again, just some additional pictures of what the area looks like today. Uh, as you can see in the screen, uh, the box, the, the culverts that are, in the, uh, that are in the roadway were recently extended uh, by city crews and coming up in the next few months, I, uh, this, the street department is going to be adding some additional pavement over those. Uh, also, there will be some additional flood signage being put up soon too, just on a, the flood signage is gonna be temporary just to let everybody know about the hazard, uh, just in case somebody drives by and they're not aware of it. Um, and then the widening of the street is really just temporary to make it a little bit safer in the interim while we're working on uh, designing these potential improvements. And so again, in just another picture, this is closer to Blakely Drive looking towards the crossing. Uh, so what we're looking at to, is basically a bridge. So these next few slides are gonna be kind of a series of showing what we're looking at uh, for, 
for potential improvements and, and a kind of an early phasing of what that might what that construction might look like. Uh, here, just so you can kind of get an idea of what the footprint of this project is, you can see Blakely over on the left side of the screen and Crowley Road over to the right side of the screen. And with the stream, with the channel that we're crossing there in blue. Uh, so the first thing that would wind up would likely go in would be the bridge piers. Uh, that's going to be the structure that's going to support the actual bridge. And uh, then there would be filling in the, uh, you know, filling in the sloped area underneath where the roadway is. Since the roadway is going to have to ramp up to the elevation of the new bridge. Uh, so it would be filling the land underneath there as well as um, putting down some rock riprap uh, to help protect from erosion and, and protect the the embankments that, that are going to be placed. Uh, there will also be some drainage improvements and some sanitary sewer improvements to reroute an existing sanitary sewer and drainage to convey runoff that, that's within the street. And then, uh, then we would also, we would then wind up constructing paved, concrete pavement over the new bridge and five foot sidewalks on both sides of the roadway. Uh, the sidewalk on the on the uh, west side would connect to Blakely and would terminate in, in the Crowley Road right away, uh, ready for any future sidewalk extensions in, along Crowley Road. Now, one of the big questions that, that I think if, if you live in the area you're going to be concerned about is what's it going to look like during construction? Is it going to be open uh, while construction is taking place? And so what I've shown here, this road that's kind of shown to the north uh, in a grade in area is a temporary detour route or a temporary road uh, for you know one so the contractor can reach both sides of the of the project as well as so that we can maybe potentially keep traffic open uh, for as long as possible I, I do anticipate that at some point there will likely be a closure of the roadway but i wouldn't be at, at this point in the project be able to tell you how long or estimate how long that might be uh, working in our favor, though, is the, the neighborhood to the west does have an exit onto Crowley Road just a little bit further north off of this screen. Uh, additionally, uh, assuming this project moves forward, uh, there will be further community or additional community meetings at the 60% set of plans, the 90% set of plans, and then finally, whenever we have a contractor on board for a pre construction meeting, and we'll be providing updates on these. Uh, on, on, on this detour and uh, ideas on how this might look during construction at each of those meetings. Uh, so this, this is something that we're aware of and we want to be very sensitive to uh, because it, it would be a disruption. Uh, so we just want to make sure that, that you know that we're, we're looking into this and we're, we're designing with this in mind. Uh, so just to kind of summarize, you know, project benefits, this is going to reduce the likelihood of Cunningham being overtopped. Uh, it's going to improve road safety uh, because it's going to be a wider roadway than it is today. Uh, it'll be concrete pavement, which is going to be an improved driving surface. Uh, so assuming this one, this project does move forward, which it looks like it will, um, the, anticip the anticipated schedule, we anticipate completing design in the summer of 2023 bidding and awarding in the fall of 2023 uh, with construction to begin in winter of 2023-24 and lasting for about a year after that. Uh, this, like I mentioned before, this is a stormwater revenue bond funded project. Our current estimated cost is about six and a half million uh, to construct this bridge and, and, and improve the life safety uh, concerns over there over uh, on Cunningham Street. And so with that, I'll open it up to any questions. I don't, I don't see any in the chat right now. Michael, do you see, I, I didn't see any, do you? No, no, I do not right now. Okay. Uh, so with that, I'll open it up to anybody who's called in, if they want to unmute and, uh, and, and ask any questions, uh, I'll, I'll go and read out my contact information. So if anybody has any questions, uh, they can give me a call or shoot me an email. And my phone number is 682-215. Six five four seven, and my email address is Justin Naylor. That's N as in Nancy A Y L O R at Fort Worth Texas dot gov. Justin. 
Justin, are you going to need some easements or right of way? Yes, it does look like we will need to acquire some right of way and easement. Uh, and the, once we get the design going, that'll be one of the first tasks that we will do. We'll start working with our real property division or with the city's real property division uh, to, to get appraisals and to start negotiating the purchase of those easements and right of way in order to uh, accommodate this project. And where can this recording be found? Uh, we will post it to the city's website once we get a uh, project page set up. Uh, and so that, that information will be on the city's website. Uh, so when you go to fortworthtexas.gov and you should be able to then search for Cunningham Road. And we anticipate getting the website set up in the next few weeks. So I see we have a couple of call-in users. Uh, call-in users, feel free to uh, unmute yourself and ask any questions if you have any. You are muted and would like to speak, I believe, uh, unless your phone is actually muted, I think star six will unmute you in the WebEx platform. Justin, can you go back a slide to the dates? Yeah. So how long did you say construction was anticipated? Uh, we're current, currently anticipating about a year. Now, keep in mind, you know, construction is going to kick off, would, would potentially kick off in the winter, uh, which means it would be going through at least one rainy season. Uh, so depending on how wet of a year it is, that's going to affect the, the total construction duration. But we're currently estimating about a year. Okay, thanks. And if anyone has questions afterwards, they can just email or call you. Right, and and I believe my my contact information was also on the mailer. Uh, so more than likely, if you were on this call, then you got some some notification uh, through this mailer. Uh, so feel free to use that information as well. I'm not hearing any any uh, comments and any additional comments coming in or seeing any questions in the chat. Uh, so with that, I think we can go ahead and adjourn the the meeting here. I thank you for your for your time and and uh, you know if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email. And again, this will be this recording will be posted on the city's website in the next few weeks. The next meeting you said would be roughly 60%. Yes. Yeah. So there'd be a little bit more meat on the plans at that point. A little more, a few additional details to share, to share at that point. So possibly six months from now, roughly or so fall of this year, 2022. That, yeah, that, that seems realistic.